Hello, everybody. I am going live whether Karen is done or not. <laughs> I just need a second so that I can get my chat up. Uh, let's see. Hi, Mary. Hi, Ingrid. Hi, Terry. I hope you're doing well. I've been leaving you messages on Instagram. I'm sure you're tired and resting and in and doing all the rehab stuff. So just know that we are all thinking of you. Uh, hi, Michelle. I sent out your package yesterday. I know it's taken me so long. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's coming your way finally. So and I um, put some uh, Lindy's in there as well for you. Um, okay. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Jen. Hi, Moika. I hope I'm saying your name right. Hi, Leslie. Hello, Eureka. Francis, Michelle, A Grin Designs, Valerie, hello, hello. Okay, I'm actually going to uh, zoom in real quick. I thought I did that, but you know, technology never saves. So, is she done? Did she get? Did she get done? <laughs> I told her. I said, are you sure you don't want an hour and a half? Okay, so um, oh, I forget that I always have my phone now. Okay, so hello, Marie, Susie, Kinga, Christy, Valerie. Okay, I have a confession. I am not, I'm just feeling bleh today. I don't know if you guys have those days. I just, I knew that I, I needed for, for myself, I needed this live because I feel like doing these videos differently. I feel like I'm missing you guys and the connection with you guys. So um, I really needed this. So I'm actually gonna be copying one of my pages in a sense. I'm using some um, Lindy's instead of, uh, what did I use here? I think I use watercolors on here or something like that. Um, and I am, because I feel like I, I need this creative time. So I'm just going to, uh, take you guys along the process of kind of how I copy myself or the steps that I know works um, in order just to be creative. Because sometimes I overthink things. I'm sure we all do it sometimes. Sometimes, or like you know, just kind of get in our heads too much and trying to do too many things. And I feel like. Um, you know, I don't, I lost my train of thought here. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just a few steps to make it easy. So if you are in this kind of space of wanting to create something, just kind of follow, follow these steps. And I do actually have a video, um, although I can walk you more through this uh, at a slower pace, I guess. Uh, Cause I have longer than an hour, <laughs> unlike Karen. So I'm starting off with some watercolor paper and I cut it down. So I like this journal from Finnebear and it's this one here. I have a hard time working in the actual journal. So I cut out uh, watercolor paper so that it fits. I have other pages that I need to put in here. I just haven't done that yet. Um, but anyway, so I'll cut out a piece that will fit um, in here just like that. And then that way I can add it later and it doesn't add too much bulk or anything. Um, and then I can work separately out of the book, but I still have it all in the book. And then it has like a little kind of flap thingy there too. Okay, so let me get paper towel and um, let me see my brushes at this one, I think. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. The it is it's linked down below. So the supplies are listed down below, but it's this one. It's the Art Daily Mixed Media Journal. It's five and a half by eight. It has 24 sheets of paper. The paper is amazing on the inside. It's very thick. Um, it's nice to whoops. I, I hate the magicals. <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, I don't hate them. I'm sorry. Uh, but the paper on the inside is amazing. Um, it's just because I have a hard time working in the book because, um, it's harder to take it apart and then put it all back together. So, all right. Hi, Lynette. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Karen. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at my hands, you guys. This is ridiculous. So I was swatching out. This is my time to just kind of chat with you guys. But I was swatching out um, my new inks from Concord and Ninth. And um, uh, what's her name? Jennifer McGuire has it like a free printout. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so nice and neat. And then, of course, I get ink everywhere. And then I'm ink blending on the paper. And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's the difference between a mixed media person and somebody that's, like, super, like, nice and neat. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I don't know where I'm getting. Oh, you know what? It's this paint on here. Okay. Finally, Karen, geez, just kidding. All right. Let me, okay. Let me get to it. So I'm going to put some clear gesso down. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to take, where did I put it? Some of the uh, tissue paper. Um, I, I, I ended up getting some just to see uh, kind of what it would be like because I did make my own um, and a lot of times I'm lazy. So this is a good way. So I want kind of this spot here. Just give me a second and I'll show you. <clears throat> it's my throat is like really bugging me. Okay. All right. So I am going to focus on the center this time. And so what I'm going to do is kind of tear this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. At all. Kind of, yeah. And you can layer more on top if you want. Let me, there we go. Hi, Belinda. You're still up. Isn't it late where you are? And new NECA. Oh, my goodness. Thank you guys for coming, everybody that's coming in. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some clear gesso and just slap it on the top here. Hi, Heidi, how are you? Hi, Patricia, hello. If I don't say your name, please don't be mad. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's times when I can pay a little bit more attention to the chat and other times that I can't. So, all right. So just gonna layer some of this. Just maybe, maybe just like that. Perfect. Okay, and then maybe a little bit on the top. OK, 
Okay, well, that is upside down, so I don't want that. It's been a while since I've done a live by myself. So it feels strange. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh, Nikki, thank you for sharing. All right, while this dries, because I don't want to hurt your guys' ears too much, I actually stamped some butterflies out on some watercolor paper, and I didn't know exactly which ones I was going to use. See, I was kind of playing around. I actually have some over here playing around. So I'm using the new uh, Flat Magical Mountain Meadows, and I really wanted to like the other colors in here, but I they're just not my thing. I got up for the stormy sky um, mainly. This blue is amazing. I absolutely love the blue. <sighs> it's a little hard to open. Okay. Um, this blue is just, it's everything that you need. These other colors I probably won't end up using, so I'll probably send them to somebody else. This purple was actually, if you are wondering, was actually this color. Um, this sweet violet purple teal. And I thought, nah, I've used New NECA's color combo too many times, or purple and blue, so I'll just stick with blue. This time I'm feeling blue, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right. Okay. So, oh yeah, we were going to work on the butterflies. Forgot. So let's just take... Maybe, <clears throat> um, there's my little scissors, there they are. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm sure you guys would have said if we, if you couldn't, but just wanna make sure. Okay, um, what was I doing? There we go. So I like to use it, the Magicals kind of like uh, watercolor. So I just have this stamp block here and I'm just going to watercolor on. Um, so I have some blue already on here and I have one of those spray bottles too, you guys that you can't get. <laughs> um, but I'm sure Nikki will bring them. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit on the paper. And did I show you guys what stamp set I used? Um, these are from, the butterflies are from this Simon Says Stamp. This is, this is an exclusive stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, and you guys know that I had to get these because the butterflies are just amazing. And of course, all of the sentiments in here are just amazing as well. As you guys know, I, I make cards too. So had to get those. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm just going to just kind of, um, let me see if I can zoom in while I do this. Not that it's anything technical or anything, but let me see. Um, Logitech. I should always have my camera setting thing up so that I can do this. There we go. Is that better, you guys? Okay. Then I have a rag here. If I'm getting too much blue, I'll wipe it off and then just go in with the water and kind of spread it out a little bit. Okay. 
I'm gonna go back in with that dark color. Just like this, nothing fancy, Don't doesn't have to be perfect. We're just putting a little bit of color on there. Don't overthink it. That's it. And you can always, what I like to do is take the brush and swipe inwards because in that, that way you kind of get an illusion that you know what you're doing. <laughs> Uh, cause then the edges will be a little bit lighter. Um, that's how I like to do my butterflies anyways. All right. So let me color, uh, maybe one of the little ones just in case I want to use it. Okay. So what I did was I dipped the brush in the magical and then I'm just putting it over here on my stamp block and then I'm just adding a little bit of water. Okay. I'm not worried about staying in the lines because I'm going to cut these out. Gonna add a little bit darker here and then let it kind of spread out and do its thing. All right. There we go. Perfect. And I love these magicals because they are flat. They do not have any mica powder in them, which I personally like, but I'm sure Nuneka will be surprised that I actually got the Glitz Magical Gleaming Gold. I haven't tried it yet, but after watching her, um, her live, I had to get it. Was it the video? I don't know. It, yeah, I was alive on Facebook. All right, I'm going to do a big butterfly as well, just, just in case, because who knows. So I spray a little bit of water, and then I'm just going to color, or add the color, I'm sorry, into the center, and then I'll wipe off my brush and then swipe into the color and then that way I'm getting the water on the edges and then it will naturally kind of flow out and create um, some depth. And again, it does not have to be perfect. There we go. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing fine. Okay. Oh, I wanted to mention uh, that I have a uh, a newsletter that I send out once a month. Um, so if you are the type of person that is not on social media a lot or can't get to YouTube as often, uh, then um, the newsletter will be great because I condense everything um, into one email and then you can watch what you want and, uh, and then it's all in one email. So it's my website is tiffanysolorio.com and then you could just sign up and I won't spam you or anything. So yeah. All right. So those are done. So those are going to dry and then I'm going to move on to this. Actually move this over here. All right. 
Okay. I'm going to use the heat tool real quick. Just if you are wearing headphones, just beware. Be aware, I should say, not beware. Or, yeah, I don't know. Ingrid, I've had people tell me that they can't watch my videos because they know that they'll go shopping. <laughs> I don't mean to. <laughs> the tissue paper is amazing. It is. Um, but I do, I did actually buy, although you can use regular tissue paper to um, make your own, like regular uh, party tissue paper. Um, but I did buy some of the Tim Holtz collage paper just to see the difference. And uh, it's cheaper just to get some party tissue paper at the dollar store. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going to see... Um, I was trying the tissue paper first time today. I've had it forever on Clarence. Okay, I'm just going to cut this off. Thank you all for joining today. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. And there's some tear, or I'm sorry, not tears. Um, Terry and Michelle, and who else is in here? That so the purple means that they've been members for a year or longer. You guys believe that? It's amazing. It's amazing. All right. Okay, so I am actually, I didn't know if I was going to do some stamping, but, whoops, hmm, maybe a little bit, we'll see. Okay, where did... Sorry, you guys, I lost my ink. Oh, there it is. My ink pad. Okay. So my ink pad is actually getting a little bit dry. This is Alta New Permanent Black Ink. But I'm just going to stamp just to kind of bring down a little bit of that stamping and then make everything flow. Oh, Michelle, I thought yours was purple. Who am I thinking that was? Maybe it's because you should be. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, what else do I have? What other stamp? Oh, that's all it. Okay. Next, I'm going to take a stencil right here. Sorry, you guys, I'm like very tired today, I think. Okay, this is a Finnebear stencil and I did not clean my stencil. So I apologize, my stencil is very dirty. Um, guys, I am a hot mess today. All right, so I'm taking the paper paste, which you guys know is my favorite paste. And I am going to focus on the center of my page here. I wanna make it, because they're squares, I wanna make sure that it's pretty uh, straight. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do the center, but of course you wanna make sure that you go out a little bit um, just to make sure that everything is flowing really nicely. Okay. Here we go. Okay, and then I like to actually take a little bit of extra paste, well, too much actually, and then spread it down even more. And I'm going to, where the tissue paper meets the, the uh, watercolor paper, I'm actually going to take some of the paste and kind of blend it. Um, it's not necessary, but I just feel it, it makes everything kind of flow nice, nicer and. Okay. Here we go. All right, am I gonna get to 100 or is Karen the cool person here today? She got to 100. Maybe I should share it on Instagram. Um, Heidi, there's links in the description box to Nikki's store. Okay. Hi, Carol, thanks for joining. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> you are cooler than the other side of the Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use my heat tool just to beware. All right, so is anybody creating with me? I need to get a, actually I think I have one here, is that one? Um, uh, let me get one real quick. Where I put them, I have no idea. Okay. So I actually like to use these dome brushes or the dome foam daubers from scrapbook.com. And I like to take gesso because I don't really like these up here, the stamping that I did. So I'm kind of, I guess, going to be doing the same thing as Karen did in hers where she was kind of pouncing on some of that gesso onto the page to kind of hide some of that stamping. Um, and I'm actually going to Yep, I'm a copycat. <laughs> That's okay. All right. And I want to create a little bit more um, interest in the composition, I guess, of my page here. So I'm going to go in a little bit more into the tissue paper. and do it on the side here. Okay. 
Okay, so let me see. Okay. I don't know what that blob is. There we go. And then I just take it off and stick it in my clean water and then I can reuse it. That's what I like to do. Where is my clean water? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Shannon, you're funny. Let's see, bag my shredded wheat came in. Oh, that's amazing, Carol. And Shannon, you make some amazing prints. Shannon has a great channel, you guys. You guys got to check her channel out. <clears throat> what do, you, do you have any plans for that, Carol? Uh-oh, what did Ingrid say? Okay. Now we are moving on to color, which is my favorite part. And I need some more of the magicals. I'm gonna take some on the brush here, add it to here, just like this. Okay, here's my water bottle. Aw, oh, Ingrid, thank you. You guys, seriously, if you are not following Ingrid, she is amazing. Not only is she an amazing artist, but she's an amazing person. You guys will not be disappointed. Okay, so I am going to, again, focus on the center. I have to remind myself because I... Um, I always want to do off-centered a lot of times, but right now I want to do the center. So what I'm going to do is, can you guys see that good enough? What, get, what goes through your mind when you are looking at the composition of a project? Um, hmm. I don't know. I guess I kind of, over the years, I think I've gotten in a habit of knowing that center or ugh, I don't know why you have to ask you Ingrid <laughs> you ask the hardest questions let me think about that and I'll get back to you okay okay can't see the acrylic block okay okay sorry 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 There we go. Is that better? Is that better, Karen? Okay. So I'm going to take what's on my brush and just kind of let it do its thing. I absolutely love how the, um, the paper paste blends into, or I'm sorry, the color blends into the paper paste. It's so amazing. It's one of my favorites. Okay, can add a little bit more water here. Whoops, I added too much water. Why did I do that? It's okay, I'm just gonna blotch it up. We can pretend I didn't do that and I can save it after. I know, isn't the blue amazing? Sorry if I'm, I'm yelling in the microphone. <laughs> The blue is so amazing. It is from the Flat Magicals. It's a new 
um, set. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys, my throat. Um, it's a new set from Aga. She is the creator of AB Studio Paper. I'm sure you guys know um, AB Studio, but it is this one right here. And I got it just for this blue. The blue is amazing. There's a link to it in the down below. The blue is everything. I wish I can get it all by itself. I'd buy it in like the gallons. Okay. Okay. I am thinking that Nuneka needs her own set of magicals. What do you guys think? Who's with me? Okay. So I am, uh, let's see, where did my butterfly go? Do, 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 do. Where is... Oh my goodness, you guys. I lost my butterfly, you guys. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is going to drive me nuts. Hold on. Oh, there it is. I knew it was here somewhere. Okay. Okay, so I want the butterfly in the center, and I don't want too much. You guys know I love my white space, so I think I'm good, maybe, with adding it. Okay, and just kind of use my finger to pounce and blend that color out a little bit. All right, sorry you guys, I'm getting a little quiet. I think I need a drink of water. So, um, anybody have any fun plans or anything coming up? Well, I know some parts are kind of closing back up, but you never know. Oh, what, what? The chat, what? Okay. Shannon, oh no. Um, what am I looking at? I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> oh, Shannon doesn't have any uh, magicals or Lindy's in general. I just sent Michelle my Is paper paste different from regular paste. Yes. Oh, um, I plan on you telling me the difference between paper paste and regular paste. Okay, so paper paste is what it sounds like. There's like ground up paper in it. And I feel like it just, it um, absorbs. Think of how when you're watercoloring and the color absorbs into the paper, that's kind of essentially the same kind of look that the paste gives you in a way. Um, the, I feel like some pace are like, uh, let's see, let's see all the hundred that I have here. Um, okay. Light paste is kind of the same, but I find, uh, sometimes when you are adding too much water, it kind of gets glo gloopy. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word, but. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Modeling paste I find is almost like plasticky. So it doesn't absorb as much as the paper paste in my opinion. 
Okay, and then we have the plaster paste, which is the same thing. I don't really feel that it absorbs um, like the paper paste. I can do a short video and put, well, uh, Karen, you don't, I can send it to you. How about that? I was gonna say, I can put it on Instagram, but you don't have Instagram um, of the differences. Or maybe Karen has a video. Um, hi, Davida. What is your, okay, so my, my favorite paper paste is this, is this one. I absolutely love this one. Okay, it's my favorite. It's from Finnebear. I have it linked below. Okay, it's amazing. I need some water. Oh, okay. I should have left that thing out. Okay. Um, I'm just coloring in this butterfly just a tad bit so that it has a little bit more interest and it's a little darker on the in the middle of it. Having like a crafty squirrel moment. I see it and I need to fix it. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm going to dry this, so just beware I'm, if you're using headphones. Okay, so I actually cut out this and it is a Simon Says Stamp die, a triangle element. I absolutely love this. So I'm actually, well, maybe not. It looked good on this one, I feel, because this was my practice one when I was watching Karen. Um, let me see. Because I feel like it needs to have a little bit of break between the color and the butterfly but maybe I can cut it down a little bit let's see Yeah, I think I think I like that. Okay. So I'm actually going to take some of my new favorite, thanks to new NECA. See, we all are kind of enabling each other here, I guess. Uh, this is the um, uh, Distress Micro Glaze. The stuff is amazing, and I learned about it from new NECA. So she uses it to seal her Lindy's. I have some color on my finger, so I'm hoping that it won't um, bleed too much. So I'm going to seal this because when I add splatters on top, because you guys know splatters are coming, uh, I am going to be using the gloss spray and that way the Lindy's will not soak into the white and the white will stay white. That makes sense. And I love this more than a matte gel. Um, 
I just, I don't know, something about it. Yes, I kind of blended a little bit too much, but that's okay. I was reading the chat and going to town with blending. All right. So let's see. So I have my uh, gloss spray here. You know what? I might actually add a little bit of gesso. Let's see here. I am just highlighting a little bit here. Oops, here we go. Just a tad bit. It's hard to tell probably in video, but there we go. More like a frosty look. Okay, splatter time, yes, that is right. Splatter time. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe if I can get this open. Holy moly. Okay, I'm going to use my heat tool to kind of melt, <laughs> melt my bottle. <laughs> Thanks, Ingrid. And it was so simple. It's like the same things that it could do every single time. Oh, my gosh. So simple. Music volume increases. I wish I can play music. That would be amazing. Okay. So because the micro glaze is, uh, what's the word? I guess like Vaseline, like very oily. The the liquid kind of wants to pull up and kind of spread around. I don't have a time limit. No one's going after me, Karen. So you know what? I'm going to take two more hours. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, I'm going to use my heat tool again. But I'll be done. I'm done. I'm basically done. That's it. Oh man, I forgot. I wanted to add black, more depth. Man, see what happens when I'm feeling, when I'm having a bled day. I'm blaming it on that, although I'm a hot mess all the time. Okay. All right, I'm gonna add this. So this is almost like a, like a, I don't know what kind of, what I wanna say, what it looks like. Um, okay, where is my glue? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the butterfly And maybe I need more glue. Okay. So then I'm going to turn this over, figure out which way I want it. Then 
then put this down. Put, oh wait, I forgot my string. Okay, so I'm adding some upholstery thread. <laughs> uh, behind. Okay, I think that's a little too messy. Yeah, too much. Okay, let's try it. Let's try again. Let's do this again. Okay, I didn't get to 100, but that's okay. Maybe it's my mood today. I feel like sometimes you get in return. I'm sure everybody has those days. Okay. Just gonna add that there. There we go. The cool peeps are here, yeah. <clears throat> oh, I did, I got to 92, okay. Well, that's cool. It's no big deal. So Tiffany's sugar bell, a uh, sugar bell bottle. Oh, for the Fabri-Tac, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> okay. Then I can pick this up and then I could see where I need to add glue so that the glue doesn't spill out and get messy everywhere. There we go. Just like that. Sometimes it's just the sake of creating is sometimes all we need because I um, sometimes when I sit down, I'm like, oh, I want to create something. I overthink everything. I'm like, oh, I don't want to take everything out. I don't want to like do all that. And this was pretty simple. Um, and you can do the same thing over and over and over again. Carol, I may, did I miss something? Okay. Um, oh, I have the, the, uh, this tiny text. So if you like Tim Holtz's stickers, um, all the stickers that he makes, he has the, the stamp set. Um, which has, I feel, some of the best sentiments and quotes on it. Um, so you, because I feel I have um, a hard time with uh, using the stickers because um, it's like, you know, you use the one and then that's it. So this one you can, you can have them. But I think I have um, this... Oh, where to go? I lost it, of course. Okay, anyways, I lost it. <laughs> yes, Ingrid, the stamp set is amazing. Um, let's see, which one do I wanna use? There is beauty in simplicity. I feel like that's a little too big. Um, you are enough. I felt, I, I think I saw that, that one on here. Yes, I'm just gonna use a sticker, but I feel maybe I need this today. You are enough, just like that. Or there, you are enough. So if you need that message, that's for you. You are enough. Don't forget it. Okay. Let me put it on um, the focus real quick. So. 
so that I can show you guys, hopefully. It's a little muted on camera, but um, yeah. Snarky sounds fun. <laughs> ah, come on. There we go. Uh, all right. My camera is... I'm sorry, you guys. There we go. So nothing too crazy. Sometimes we just need an hour, maybe a half an hour if I wasn't chatting, um, just to kind of create something. And it doesn't have to, you don't have to overthink it at all. I know we all do that. I'm definitely guilty of that all the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, where did my, oh, this. And then what I'll do is I will, um, so see how I got inspiration from this page and it ended up being different, you know? But I still did the same process. I added the, Tissue paper, same stencil, same technique with the coloring, splatters, butterfly, bam, got a page. So simple. And then I'll add it to my, my art journal. Just like that, once it's dry. Yes, please like, like, uh, Thank you all for joining. I really, really appreciate it so much. Uh, next weekend, I believe there is a full live stream hop. Um, so be sure to look out for that. I'm not sure if I will be going. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. It always is. I love hanging out with you guys in the chat. Um, so yeah. Any questions? Oh, let me show you guys real quick. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to tease you guys. <laughs> Hold on real quick. Okay, so this project I feel like is one of my best projects and I created it for my tier three channel members. Let me zoom out real quick. <laughs> I don't know if I could get wide enough. Um, I would have to move my whole camera contraption but this is it. So I have the texture on there. So, and tier three member is just 10 bucks. So you could essentially join, watch the, watch the video and um, yeah, and then call it a day. And I actually use the back of it. So this is supposed to be the front. So oh, yeah, and then I got the bottom there. So just so you guys can see, I'm loving blue. See, I had, I told you guys, I go through this phase of like using the same colors. And I think the next one coming is purple because I really, really tried to use purple. <laughs> Um, so I feel like that one's creeping up on me. Uh, but yeah, that is it, you guys. Prussian blue, yes, such a pretty color. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you haven't watched my recent video, be sure to check it out. Oh, what's the name of the gel sealer? Um, it is called Microglaze. I will actually link it um, down below so you can come back and check it out. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
I don't know where I put it or else I would show you again. Um, yeah, it's Tim Holtz Microglaze and my voice is going away. So since there's not that many people left and I feel like we're all friends, I, and if you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I am, um, there's something going on with my throat. I have like a, uh, like a, not a cyst, but what was it? Um, my saliva gland is all like, I have a, um, it's not a cyst. Anyways, I have to get it taken care of. And I feel like that is um, affecting sometimes my, my voice. Because when I talk a lot and the ENT said that it's um, all connected. So hopefully I can figure out if I want surgery or not and get that fixed because it's really bugging me. Um, anyways, I will let you guys go. Thanks for joining and hanging out. If you just joined me and haven't seen Karen's live, be sure to check it out. She created a amazing, really beautiful, colorful art journal page. Um, and check out Ingrid's channel. Um, make the OP. What's the OP? So you're going to make the OP? What's the OP? I don't know what OP is. <laughs> All right. Um, yes. Oh, operates. Uh, I don't know, Prolina, because I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for joining. And you guys are amazing for hanging out. Oh, no. Scrap chick. Message me because I have some questions, okay, <laughs> if you would, please. Okay, all right, I'll let you guys go. I am getting really chatty and my throat is starting to irritate me. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.